everyone, Clayton here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new kind of series on my channel, which is uh, how to find. It's pretty much just go through Skyrim and ch uh, show you how to find certain weapons or armor sets that are kind of out of the way and you might not be able to find on your travels. Uh, this first episode is finding the Scald armor, which the one easy way is just to kill one of the Scald. Uh, doing this will piss the Scald off and won't let you be in their town anymore. Uh, you can also get the armor from pickpocketing one of the Scald by using the Misdirection perk. But I would highly not recommend killing one of the Scald because the Scald are kind of a useful asset and and for Dragonborn you kind of need them with you. And I'm going to say here you will need the Dragonborn DLC for this which is pretty obvious since we're on Solsun here. So yeah, I would not recommend doing that, so this is other options that I'd like to show you. Uh, the first one is at High Point Tower. The pathway, yeah, I'm showing it on the map here. The pathway for this is blocked until you get the uh, quest Old Friends. Uh, this is a quest from Neldoth. Um, you pretty much have to do a bunch of quests for him. You have to fix his tower and get a steward for him. And Ashbon will attack Tobermithrian again, and then he will send you on a mission here to uh, find an old friend for him. Pretty much what the quest says. I'm not going to try to give spoilers. So anyways, h here is where uh, it's located. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, usually in this, there is a bunch of enemies. Uh, but since I've already cleared it out, since I've already completed the quest, there really isn't. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, uh, it's pretty much just run through the dungeon. And you will find it pretty quick. Okay, so once you hit this main chamber here, uh, this is pretty much when you find like the main uh, uh, landmarks that you can use to find it. Uh, you pretty much just have to go up the scaffolding to the very top and uh, just go through a tunnel up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the way you need to go, uh, but it took me a little bit to find it because I just knew it was in this general area. Because uh, I found it before, but I couldn't exactly remember where it's at. But yeah, you just have to come through this tunnel here, and then uh, when you turn this corner or the next corner, you'll find like a kind of like raised up platform here in the middle, which I'm jumping on, and this is where you will find the Scald Armor. Uh, right here I'm just going to put some alteration candle light so you can see it. Yep, so right there by that skeleton is the chest piece, the boots, and the hat. Um, and behind you is the, or by the shovel, is the gauntlets. Um, this is the only place to find the full set of the Scald Armor, besides killing someone. And yep, there's the main chamber, and just follow the hallway. Yeah, like I said, this is the only place that I could find that uh, has all the pieces of the Scald uh, part, or light armor. It's light armor, by the way. Anyways, here is the next place, Files Bahar. It's a Dreamer Ruin, uh, known for its puzzles. There's a whole quest linked to this, and if you want to look it up, you can. you certainly can. Uh, there's a bunch of weaklings here. Uh, this set of armor it doesn't have the hat, though. It does not have the headpiece. And, like I said, yes, there is a bunch of Reclean and Wimmer uh, spiders and centurions and uh, spears in here. Uh, this is known as, like, a puzzle place. There's a lot of puzzles. And uh, for this puzzle, it took me a long time to figure out, but I finally did. Uh, those buttons there will set off traps and open the door. The, uh, the button that you need to use is the ninth one, which is on the bottom row, all the way to the right, ex or second from the, or, yeah, second row, all the way to the right, the one right before the last one. I'll click it here if it makes more sense, but, uh, all the other ones will set off traps, so I wouldn't recommend clicking it. See, right there, I clicked that one, and then I have my way out here. Um, on the way here, you want to hit these, uh, spindle type things. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you hit those spindles, it makes you open the door down here. So, yep, opens the door. So you want to hit those on the way out. And here's some more Centurion or spears you have to fight. Uh, they won't be that high a level. My, this character I'm using is level 81. So these uh, enemies are scaled to him. So you might not find like master uh, level uh, spears and stuff when you get here. Anyways, when you get here, you want to come through this middle part here. And you want to run across this little uh, landing. 
And when you get here, up here on the stairs, right here, it should be a body. For some reason, mine's not there anymore. I've been here before, so I don't know if I looted the body and it disappeared. Uh, but that's right by the boiler room. And they, they'll have a body. I think his name is Eldris. It's a Nord woman. And you can find everything there but the hat. So that's how you get the Scald armor. It cannot be upgraded, uh, which is kind of shitty. But it's pretty much the same as leather armor. And yeah, it's just kind of for the aesthetics if you can get it in light. It looks pretty nice, and there's not really m very many places to find it. Uh, it doesn't really spawn in random loots or sold by mer merchants, so it's kind of nice to find, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, the series, I hope they continue for more uh, armor, really. And here I'm showing you the values. It is light armor, and it doesn't it doesn't really that much armor. But I hope I continue the series, uh, maybe with different armor sets and stuff. And if you want to see something or find something, just tell, uh, leave a comment below. And yeah, this is Clayton, signing off.